What's up you guys? Kira Kira says, and I cannot believe I'm about to hit 100,000 subscribers. That is so crazy. I just wanted to take one second to tell you guys thank you so much and I appreciate it and I wouldn't even be able to be proud of this moment or looking forward to this moment if it weren't for you. I wouldn't be able to be doing any of this if it weren't for you. So, sorry cars. <laughs> so, I mean, thank you so much and I love you guys. And I put some stuff on my Poshmark account. I'm gonna send it to you for free because that's how happy I am right now. I bought a few things at that shoe sample sale. I talked about it like a few weeks ago. I also ordered some things online. They didn't quite fit right. I just put them on my Poshmark for free. All you have to do is log in, search Kiara Says, follow me, you know, if you want. Go, then come back, comment under this video what you like. If a few people like one of the same item, I'm just gonna pick one of you guys and I'm gonna just send it to you for free. If you don't have Poshmark, I mean, what are you doing? I love Poshmark. I use it more than I even end up going into actual stores at this point. The same way I be using my little apps to thrift my furniture, I thrift my shoes, accessories, clothes, and Poshmark is just the easiest, coolest app to use ever. I put a link in the description if you don't have it so you can just download it easy right there. I also have an invite code in there. You get a $5 credit when you use my invite code. So download away. If you don't know anything about Poshmark, I'm gonna show you guys. It's gonna take like two seconds. I'm gonna show you guys how to use it and just thank me later. So I posted this picture a while ago and I had these cute little leopard um, sneaker wedges on. A lot of my comments were, were wanting to know where I got the sneaker wedges from, so they came from Poshmark. So that was another one of the reasons why I just wanted to let you guys in on Poshmark and let you know that I do have an account there. So this is my feed. Of course you can click on anything you want. Like if say you like these Black Sea Madden Gladiator heels, you click on them. It shows you the, the retail price and then what the person is selling them for. You can also hit offer and you can make your own offer which can be even lower than the already discounted price or you can buy them. You can also like them and it saves it and then you can also leave a comment if you want to ask the seller any questions about the item. So what I'm gonna do now, I was looking for those, the, they're called Air Max. I, I'm trying to not do heels so, so much and get more into sneakers or whatever, try to be cool. So I'm going into my likes and these are just things that I've liked in the past. So I'm just gonna click on these. I found these and I just think they're so, so cute. So I'm gonna go ahead and put an offer. The price she's selling them for are already pretty good, but y'all know me. I'm just gonna go ahead and do like a little bit less. Okay, and we'll see if that offer is accepted. Again, if you use my invite code, you get a $5 credit, and the link to download the app to your cell phone is in my description. So Poshmark, check them out. I don't know if some of you don't want me to say your name, so I'm just not gonna say any of those names. Are you going to do more challenge videos? I would love to do more challenge videos. I need a partner. That's kind of my only thing. A lot of couples do it, and so I feel weird. Like, if I don't know, if I just bring a friend, are you guys gonna watch it? We'll see. I'm definitely gonna do, try to do a challenge video, and I'll see how it goes. I learned so much from my past relationship. I when I got with my ex, I was pretty young and, and still kind of like, in that immature phase and just figuring out who I am and uh, I just feel like I really grew up. I, I kind of became the woman that I am today uh, while in that relationship. So I learned so much, but I think the biggest thing I learned is to pay attention to red flags that might come up early and just kind of slow your roll at that point rather than just staying where you are and watching it crash and burn years later. You really have to keep in mind how your personality uh, plays with your partners. You know, everything might be fun in the beginning, but to really make something work, it, it takes time and dedication and patience and effort and all of that. I also learned how to take constructive criticism and not be so defensive and you know just take it and apply it to the rest of my life and apply it to my future relationships. 
And I even learned how to pick myself up off the ground without anyone's help because I didn't jump into another relationship and I didn't um, really have a lot of people around me at that point when I was at my lowest. After I break up, you know, I was lonely, I was a little depressed and uh, I had no choice but to come out of it on my own and that just really made me stronger. So now I know that I can take on probably anything and, and you guys too, you can take on anything. I think your first instinct is to just find someone for comfort and attention, but if you fight through it, you actually end up growing so much more as a person and becoming so much more independent, and that is priceless. It would be a perfect date night for you, and I'm pretty simple. Give me something good to eat, a nice large amount of it, something good to watch, and I'm happy. Like, you know, Netflix and chill, PG-13 for the first few dates. I would much rather be in an intimate setting where I can really like talk to you face to face and get to know you. Like we're forced to have a conversation than do something like adventurous on the first date. Do you want children in the future? If so, do you want to give birth or adopt? I definitely want to give birth. I, I don't know about children. I would love to uh, experience you know, what it's like to carry a child and give birth and raise a child. I'm not opposed to adoption either though. Are you an introvert or an extrovert? I am totally fine with sitting inside of my house all day long if I could get away with it. But I also have a way of being outgoing and and all that when I need to be. Um, the true me, I'm more of a people watcher, I'm more of a listener. I take people in uh, a lot more than I'm throwing myself out. And uh, But I've worked on that over the years, so now I think I'm like this chill balance of both, I guess. Are you a romantic, emotional type of person? Um, I'm definitely romantic. I do believe or hope that one day I'm gonna find that right person for me. I don't need to be in a relationship, but uh, there are times when I do get lonely and I do want to be in a relationship. But I'm never gonna use my loneliness to force myself into something that I'm not 100% ready for. Or that might not be the best match for me. Which things get on your nerves? Anyone who is quick tempered, short tempered, and uh, just kind of like dramatic, has a hard time controlling your anger, I just really can't stand, it's just very calm. And so when someone comes in and they mess up my calm energy, that is very irritating to me and I just want to get away from you as fast as possible. <laughs> What's the craziest thing you've ever done and I mean, without a doubt, the craziest thing I've ever done is put myself on YouTube and put my relationship on YouTube for thousands of people that I don't know personally, um, for sure. <laughs> but I don't regret any of it.